Hey everybody, hope I didn't scare you too much with that intro. I'm back with another Nolzer's Marvelous Miniature, and this is the Anis Hag. I figure in the spirit of Halloween, we might as well do something spooky. First starting off, I already based this with some uh, Vallejo's texture mud and a little bit of uh, battlefield stuff and some stones and that. And we're going to be priming it just to mix it all up together with some Ice Charm, which is a paint on primer from Scale 75. Uh, because this miniature is already primed now, I could have primed it with a different color just to save myself some trouble, like some leather brown or something, because most of her is in brown. Which we're starting off with is oak brown. Uh, this is going to be for her belt and these branch thingies that are sticking out of this hag. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you want to see some more photos, join my Instagram as well. The links for those are in the description. Now we wouldn't have a monster without some monster brown now would we? So this is going to be for her, I guess the skirt or the dress she's wearing, sort of, uh, that ripped apart as well. And uh, so there's some straps on top of her shoulders as well so you want to make sure you get those. Uh, there's some that are mixed in with the bones so you got to make sure that you get every little detail there. Uh, I noticed this after it was a bit darker so with the wash later on it's perfect and it gives me the brown that I wanted. And I'm going to do a little technique later, I'm going to let you know, uh, that helps with some highlighting without using a different color. Alright, now we're going to be using a unique color from the Undead paint set, which is from the Army Painter. And this is Dracolic Scales, because her skin was this very bluish color, I'm guessing uh, caught a little bit of... Uh, cold or something anyways or her skin is just getting old I don't know why it's blue anyways uh, we get this you gotta be careful though there are some little skin parts between the bones and some of those straps that we had a while ago with the monster brown so apply this very generously on there make sure you can water it down just a little bit so you don't get it on too thick uh, so that it actually keeps the details as well you don't want to lose any of those fancy details Alright, so we're starting off with a dark tone wash, and uh, just because the blue is still drying, I'm just going to be hitting the brown first. Uh, I'm going to go in all over that brown areas, and then I realized, you know, I'm going to do this over these, like, rose torn thingies she has on her wrist and on her head, because they're black in the artwork, but I liked the highlight that it did when it dried. Uh, I even did her hair actually, but then I put some black in it later and I kind of maybe should have left it just with the dark tone. As you can see, it like highlights this like gray color uh, and it blends into the face a little too much though, and I didn't want that. Anyways, it looks pretty cool. Alright, now we're going to be using a gray spell, which is another kind of wash, but it's called an instant color. And this is from Scale 75. And I'm putting this all over the base because I found that that ice charm was just a little too bluish, light blue, but it really works well as you can see. Uh, the blue still comes through a little bit, so I will fix this again later as with another uh, dry brushing. So speaking of dry brushing, I added a tiny bit of white to that monster brown and just going back over where I used that color originally just to bring back out some of the highlights and just to edge it. I'm doing the same thing with the oak brown, just added a touch of white just to give it some of that. And then I'm using some bleached skull on the actual skull, so I'm dry brushing on the skulls as well, just to keep that black, dirty grittiness to it. And I'm doing that for her eyes and her teeth as well. Uh, I notice her teeth are a little too white, but that's not a big deal. Maybe she takes care of her teeth. And then we're using some mutant hue, which is a very light purple, and like I said, she had a bluish purple skin tone, so we're getting all over these boils and that, just to highlight those edges again matte black moving on we're gonna be using that for her nails and these tiny little shoes she has and of course i'm gonna do like a little just like touch up the, the hair just a bit gonna keep some of those highlights anyways i right, she takes care of her hair too i guess she goes to the salon or something because she got some nice highlights going on there <laughs> all right now we're moving on to some dirt spatter and this is a dry brush along the base uh just to give it more of a swampy dirty look and it looks exactly how i wanted it to be there you go folks, the Anis Hag is all painted and ready for the table. You can use her in D&D, you can use her for any other game you want as well. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you all in the next one.